hi guys welcome back to my channel this is Ajilam here thank you so much for checking us out once again please if this is your first time of checking out my channel please subscribe and also tap on the bell icon so that you get to know when i put up a new video so guys today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to make a party dress for a one year old baby girl so if you're interested let's move on i have some leftover fabric that i have so i'll be using it to make this dress so this is the lining this is the fabric itself as you can see it's just the leftover it's not that much this is it this is what i'll be using for the bone and the band this is my satin and this is my net so now i'll cut out the upper part the basic bodies first if you check out my video on how to make a christening or baptism dress for a little girl you get to see how to draft that pattern for the basic bodies for a baby girl so this is the pattern i'm going to use it to cut out so now i'll just place it and i'll trace it out let me just do that quickly so i've cut it out this is it for the upper part now i'll use my pattern as well and i'll cut the back part of this upper part of the dress let me just do that so this is the front and this is the back like i said my fabric is not enough so i'll be using satin for the back as you can see it's an open back and dress so now the next thing to do i'll use this same pattern and cut out my lining then i will show you how to cut the down part so this is what i'll be using for the down part this is my net it's not up to one yard and this so now i'll check what i have here because i want the full length um, of this dress for the down part to be 11 so I'll check what i have here here i have four okay i have four and half so my half now will be the same allowance so here i have four inches that's what i will take so i'll now add i will now add seven inches so I'll go, i'm going to cut out seven and a half inches for the net to make it with this one 11 inclusive the same allowance i hope you understand what i'm trying to say so now i will t divide this into two as you can see so that i can use it for both the front I'll just open it up. Make sure it's the same. And I'll open it up. So this is my net i'll mark out like i said earlier i'll mark at seven and a half so I'll just fold it and i'll cut out seven and a half so this is my seven and a half i'll open it up here because I want this to have um, joining the both sides. So I've opened it up. I will, before joining it with this, I need to line this before I'll join it with this. Okay. So now I will just use my lining and cut it out like this. Then and I'll sew it, line it before joining it on this part. So let me just do that quickly. See, I've lined this one. Now it's like this. So what I will do now is to join it with my net. I decided to double my net. Okay. So now I'll take this and I'll join it straight. So like this. 
together with this and I'll just sew it all the way down. Let me just do that quickly and show you. So as you can see, I've joined it together. This is the front while this is the back. Okay, this is how it is. So now I'm going to check what I have here, the length, and I'll cut it out on my satin. Let me just do that quickly. This is 33. Okay, but I'll check if what if my satin will be enough for this. Then I'll just cut it exactly like this. But for the satin, I'll make it. I'll make it nine inches. So let me just cut out my satin. So this is my satin after folding it. I'll cut. I'll mark out nine and half. Half is for uh, sorry. Half is for the um, seam allowance. So this is nine and half. Okay, this dress I really want it to be short so that to give the girl the fitting that i want so i just cut it out okay this is my satin so i'll take this for the front side this one i'll be using it for the front so i'll just take it with this keep it together like this then i'll use my gather stitch and so gather all the way down I'll do the same for the back side so let me just do that quickly as you can see I've gathered it already okay so I'll do the same thing on the back side as well so and that is it for the down parts so for the front part uh, like I said before I will use exactly like this and cut out my satin and my lining and i'll join the shoulders for this this side that i got that if you want to see more on this you can check out my video on how to make a simple skirt for a girl and you will see how to gather to gather like this okay so let me just cut out this for the upper part and i'll join it together okay as you can see i've joined it together with the back one if you have been watching my videos you're supposed to know how to do this by now but if you're not, you can check out my video on how to make a christening or baptism and gown for a little girl. And you'll get to see how I did all this. So the next thing to do now, I'll add my band, which is this. So I'll just pin it first. Let me just do that. As you can see, I've added the band. So the next thing to do now is to join this down part. So as you can see, I kept my lining separate. So I will join this and also the back part as well. And I will now cut out my lining. So let me just join this quickly. Okay, for the lining, this is what I'll be using. And this is half yard. So I'll be using half yard. And I just folded it into two and fold it like this as well, as you can see. Okay, so now I'll mark out from here, I'll mark out six inches. So this is six inches. I'll do that all around. I'll cut it out so I'll be making the length okay so I'll be making the length um, nine inches so this is nine inches here If you've been watching my videos, you should be familiar with this by now. So, cut it out. 
this is where I'll be joining my hard net. Okay. So this is it. This is where I'll be joining my hard net. Okay. So let me just straighten up, straighten it up a little to mark out two inches all the way around. Okay. out my hard net and I will sew it all round. I've shown this process severally in my previous videos. You can also check them out. So let me just cut out my net and I'll fix it on the lining and I will show you how to join it. After gathering your the hard net, I'm going to sew it on the line like I said earlier. So I'll just take one like this. Remember to trim off your thread very well. So I'll just take one and place it on the line like this. Now sew it all around. Let me just do that quickly. So this is how it looked like after joining it, as you can see, it's already beautiful. I ended up using just two lines, as you can see, because I don't want it to be picking out. So now the next thing to do is to join the dress together. So I'll just mark out um, the bust and the chest, and I'll close it as well. Then after closing it, I'll close the lining the upper part i'll just close it first before fixing in this one so let me just do all that quickly as you can see i've joined it got it join it together so now i'll fix in the hard net so that it will look more fluffy see i just join look at the way i joined the lining inside together so now i'll mark out i'll give it a notch here and i will now join it together so as you can see i've added that and it has given it a little fluff 
okay so now i'll fix my zipper and i'll put the bow and i'll show you the final look of the dress so on how to fix the zipper you can check check my video that says um a best diy designer for for kids and you'll get to see how to fix a zipper so let me just fix my bow and show you the final look of the dress you can see this is the final look of the dress it's looking very beautiful this is the back part okay so that is it for today please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to type tap on the bell icon <laughs> so that you get to know when i put up a new video so guys i'll see you soon